Hello, welcome to Commander's Corner. I'm Tech Sergeant Tony Plotter. With us, as always, is the Commander of the 9th Reconnaissance Wing, Colonel Larry Broadwell. Sir, thanks for being here. Of course. Pleasure to be here. Awesome. Also here, we have officers with us from around the base who will be asking some questions, and at the end, we'll get some final thoughts from Colonel Broadwell. So who'd like to go first? I'll open up with a question. Good morning, sir. Hey, good morning. Um, so my question for you is, um, a common subject of discussion for CGOs is um, and any, any military member in general is the decision to stay in the military or hang up the uniform and kind of join this mass exodus of your peers um, to get out and pursue your abilities in a different setting. Um, so my question for you would be, did you ever reach a critical decision point in your career, maybe not necessarily as a CGO, um, in which you were deciding on whether or not to stay in or get out? And what were the events that sparked this decision point in your life? And what was your motivation to continue? That's a lot wrapped up in that one. That's a good, no, that's a great question. <clears throat> I think that uh, we serve voluntarily. Um, so it's my expectation that some, at some point, will, uh, our officer airmen and our enlisted airmen will make a decision and, and, and take their talents like you described and, and apply them uh, to, s to somewhere other than the United States Air Force. I also believe that everybody, everybody at some point will have to make that decision, whether it's at the end of an enlistment or whenever your active duty service commitment is up and you think, well, what am I gonna do when I grow up, you know? So I think everybody has to face that, or answer that question, and I certainly did. In fact, I've done it several times. Uh, you may not believe, are you really the wing commander? You actually thought about getting out of the Air Force? Of course, of course. I have lots of um, uh, interests. I have lots of things that pull, lots of demands that pull on my life, uh, my family and my personal uh, goals in life. Uh, and, and so I'll share with you um, a common point of inflection for most officers is right about that when you, the transition between a, being a CGO and becoming an FGO. It's really, you are kind of got to commit, right? It's right about the 10 year mark. And for me, I was actively pursuing, you know, leaving the Air Force. Uh, and in the end, um, what I realized was I wasn't getting good feedback from my boss. Uh, I wasn't getting any feedback from my boss. Uh, in fact, my boss thought very highly of me, uh, and they had a plan in the works for me, but I didn't know anything about it, and so I was left wondering. And so I ended up staying in the Air Force, obviously, but I took away from that, um, that experience a lesson to always give good feedback, to let people know what you have in store for them, provide them the mentorship uh, that they deserve to get them where they want. So I think that it's, it's bottom line, it's, it's common for that to happen, for those to answer those questions. Uh, and it's, um, uh, and you're going to get there if you're not already there. Good morning, sir. Hey, good morning. <laughs> My question for you is, as a member of the CGOC executive team, I'm looking for ways to increase participation, but it seems that a lot of people on base are spread out and off base are spread out, and it's hard to get involvement. Do you have any ideas on ways to get the CGOs involved? I'll, I'll begin by asking you a question. What, what drew you to the CGOC uh, initially? Uh, I really like the networking aspect of finding friends because when you first get to base, you don't know anyone. Exactly. And making friends is the best thing to do when you first get on base. And I would go to the rest of the CGOC um, members and ask the same question. What drew you to the, to the council? Uh, and then use those things as your selling points. And I think what you'll find is um, there's the social networking part there's a personal development part. There's a, hey, I just want to go have fun part. There's a, I'd like to serve Beale, serve the Ninth Reconnaissance Wing in a different capacity. There's professional development opportunities. I think that you'll see those five or six things are the most common reasons people are going to join an organization. Now, I can't facilitate the CGOs that live in Osan or Siganella to be able to come back and attend the meetings and be active members of the organization. Uh, but there's plenty of, there's plenty of CGOs at Beale uh, for you to be able to um, solicit their participation from. And I would, I would use the things that drew you and drew the others into the organization as your, as your bait. Yes, sir. Awesome. Okay? Yes, sir. If you could give me some advice on how to improve my communication with our airmen, with our organization, what advice would you give me? I think I would just say 
it, like you're going to make the most impact in a face-to-face -face conversation. And I know that that takes up a lot of your time, but that's why it's so valuable to be able to sit down and have this time with you. Um, so I would just say, you know, making that time, um, if that is something that you are committed to, um, that's where you're going to reach the most people. You bet. Yep, that's great input. Sorry. <laughs> I personally follow you on Instagram. <laughs> are you number 100? Um, well, I really like seeing your posts and I liked your vacation posts and stuff. Oh. It was just cool seeing another side of the Wing Commander. Um, so that was good. But the, the new Instagram stories, you could incorporate that oh, in yeah. there. Those are My really daughter cool. does that. They're does awesome. Does she? Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> Got it. Instagram stories and more face-to-face -face communication. I, I can do that. Again, this has been Commander's Corner. It's your chance to ask questions to the base commander, and if you'd like to do that, just follow the links we've got below.